Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. We have emerged in the, uh, well, the other world version of Midwich Elementary School. So, let's start exploring. Now this time, this door is locked, so we have to kind of go the reverse way through the school. With some extra little tricks. First thing we're going to do take this little shit out. Wolf's friend sticks his knife up our ass, which isn't exactly the nicest thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, let's start exploring. As we can see, things are not quite as we remember them. We have a rubber ball, which absolutely is going to come in useful sometime in the future. And look at this place. Yeah, yeah, this isn't the school that we remember only a few minutes ago. This place has literally gone to the dogs. Okay, what have we got in here? We've got some crawlers, but we're not going to worry too much about these guys. I'm going to be referring to my map a lot here, by the way. Um... Because this place is all kinds of screwed up. Now we are actually going to go back. Because we need to go to the lobby. Because there's some good stuff in here. I'm going to take the first aid kit and some bullets. These things make Harry very happy indeed. Now, there's also a very ominous... A uh, fan here. A huge fan is rotating. If I approach carelessly, I may be sucked in. Yeah, and that won't be a good way to go either. Right. Good. Excellent. I'm pretty sure that one's locked. Yep, these are both locked, if memory serves me. So we're going to have to unlock them from the other side. Aight. But that's okay. Alright. So, let's head back through that room with the creepers in there. Now, the creeper bugs, they're not too much to write home about. We're not going to bother wasting. Any bullets on those guys? Now, we can unlock this door from this side. There we go. And we can start exploring the rooms. So, I believe we actually need to come through this classroom anyway. And here we can find ourselves a picture card, which also has a symbol of a key on the back. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be useful. Nothing in the lockers as usual. Nothing unusual there. Now we can actually come out here, but we can see this hallway is blocked. And unfortunately, that's kind of a pain. So we're going to come through these. Ooh, hello. Yeah, this isn't going well, is it? Um, <laughs> that's not going very well at all. Uh, you know what? Probably don't need to waste any time or effort on these guys. So we're just going to run on through to the other side. Now, over here, there is a healing item, which doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Nice little healing drink. Now, let's put some of these guys down in here. Can we aim at that one, please? There we go. Kill you. Harry doesn't always like to cooperate. Oh, I think we actually nailed that one. Quite happy with that. Right, let's check out the infirmary. Because there's some good stuff in here, as usual. We've got another med kit. And the controller is vibrating, which means uh, we're probably somewhat low on health. Yeah, actually, quite quite low on health, but that's okay, because we have 18 health drinks, seven med kits. Yeah, we're, we're all right at the moment, to be honest. Now, 
Let's head back out to the main entrance. There's a reason we want to come out here. And that's because we can get an ampule. Oh, evening. Almost got uh, knifed in the junk again. Evening, sunshine. I was wondering when you were going to turn up. There you go. Have a little bit of a nap. Good lad. Right. I didn't actually want to go through there, but that's okay. We've now opened and cleared the way. All right. Now let's go through what was the reception. Find some more bullets. And man, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm kind of liking what they've done with the place, I'll be honest. I mean, it doesn't look like the world's most comfortable couch, but at least it's a couch, I suppose. And, you know, nothing screams school like a couple of dead bodies hitched up on the walls, I suppose. Anyway, let's use... A rectangular card with a picture of a key found on a desk in a classroom. Well, good news about that. It actually is a key. Slid the picture card into the slot. Now that door is permanently closed. We can't use it. However, that doesn't matter because we have a new door. Right, let's head into the girls' bathroom, which is... Not something that I say that often, I'm going to be honest. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing in here, but when we leave the girls' bathroom, funny enough, we find ourselves on the second floor. So we've actually teleported up one floor. But if we go into the boys' bathroom, we can find some bullets. And some purple bullets. Ah, shotgun shells. Now, thank you very much. We're going to be enjoying those. Okay, let's head back downstairs. And we do that by literally <laughs> going into this door and out the back. I can't tell you how much that confused me as a kid. Um, it really kind of, uh, yeah, messed with my head. Now, what is that under the door? That's curious. Well, that's not generally something I'd expect to find in a toilet. But then neither is a shotgun, to be fair. But we're certainly going to have that bad boy. Uh, Leonard Rhine, the monster lurks. Huh. The monster lurks? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, Harry. I don't know. But we're going to discover together, I'm sure. So this... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I guess we can actually eventually unlock that door. That's interesting. Now, again, some uh, little git has put a gate across this hallway. So that's fine. We're just going to find our own little way out of here. We're going to bother shooting these guys. Kind of pointless, to be honest. Now, if we come through the other side... We can get out. More handgun bullets. Huh. Telephones. I can't use the phone. Why not, Harry? Did you try? Oh, hello. Cheryl. Now, I know children generally pick up um, technology a lot better. Where is she? Than their uh, parents. However, I mean, Harry not being able to use a phone is rather curious. Right, we're going to unlock that one. And then we're going to head upstairs to floor two. And start exploring. But of course, we're not going to stay on floor two. We're going to go straight up to the rooftop, which now we have access to. 
Unfortunately, it's still raining. But that's fine. Blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Well, you know what we can do about that? We can have a fiddle with this red valve here. There's a drainage valve. Do you want to open it? Aye, laddie. Seems promising. Ah, it drains into the wrong hole. Maybe I could plug that up somehow. Yep, nothing worse than draining into the wrong hole. I can tell you. There's been many sticky situations when that's happened. Anyway, let's make use of that rubber ball that we found earlier. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. Well, that was... I was, more, I was more kind of thinking of a dog, actually, but, I mean, I guess. Use the rubber ball. Excellent. Now, let's try that again, shall we? And see if we can flush our key down. Now, we could actually explore a little bit more of the second floor. However, we do need to go grab this key first. Otherwise... Um, we're going to quickly uh, come up against the locked door. Okay, now, if we actually check out the map, you can see we're on the roof and there's the valve. So, looking where that drainage is, it seems reasonable to assume that that has uh, dropped out into the courtyard down below. So, let's go back down there, shall we? Now, I think... Yeah, this door actually opens, and we can explore. I thought that one was locked, and we had to open it, but no. So, let's go downstairs. Now, if I... was a courtyard, I think I'd be over here. Luckily, start to learn where everything is, he says, as he goes to the wrong area, like a fool. God damn it. There we go. There's our key. And that will yield us the classroom key. Yeah. Probably going to be important. Is this the door that we want to go through? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go through this door. And then back up to the second. And we can continue our search for Cheryl, who I'm sure is absolutely here somewhere. Wink, wink, nudge. Um, right. So, second floor. Let's start having a little look around, shall we? So, we've got some bullets. Harry, thank you. That's, that's, that's not how it works, Harry. You're supposed to grab the bullets, not get bitten by the small child thing. Now, we can probably go through here. Now, some of these rooms are a little bit useless. Uh, looks like... Ooh, shotgun shells. That's not useless. That's not useless at all. Now, this should, in theory, take us out here. It does. But, of course, we don't want to go out there anyway. But I suppose we could have done, because that actually takes us out right by the gate. Okay, you know what? We're going to miss those enemies out, though, because we don't really need to fight them. We'll come out here. Ah! Bamboozled. Well, you know what? Let's deal with these. Just for shits and gigs. Now, our health must be getting pretty low again. It is. Kind of supping through those 
health drinks right now, but that's fine. And this leads us through here to the bottom of the map where the auto aim completely fails us. But it's fine. Now, there's a reason I'm not kicking these because usually one bullet is enough to finish them off. Not always, but usually. Okay, let's start exploring around. Doors jammed. That's no fun. Wait, is that the only other door here? The locker room. I was going to say. There we go. Couldn't actually see the door there. It was blended in. Now, I wonder if that's our cat friend again. Let's have a little look. Is there another world version of a cat? Huh, guess not. Well, nothing to see here. Ah, or is there? Well, not every day a corpse flops out of a, a locker, is there? So, the, a library reserve key. All right, we'll take the library reserve key. Sure, seems to be something that we're probably going to need. Ah, that's why I didn't want to come this way through. I remember things about stuff, guys. I swears. So, let's head back through here. Head back into the room full of the murder children. They're kind of cute when you think about it. You know, they always say that kids are a blessing. I mean, I'm not sure about these kids, personally, but... I'm sure if they were my own, the story would be different. Right, okay, so. Let's go grab the drink, because we're probably going to need to drink that again soon. And on through to the other side. Well, this time, we're going to murder the children. Because we are sort of taking an unacceptable amount of damage, I'll be honest. Now, these guys, if we don't finish them off, they will stand back up again, uh, which isn't something that we really want to be dealing with, to be honest. I think this door is locked. It is. So we need to go through the library. Luckily, we have the library reserve key that we found earlier. And we've got some more dead bodies adorning the walls. It's very nice, isn't it? Somebody's knocking. Should we go find out who that is? Hmm. Nobody here. Curious. Hearing this, the hunter, armed with the bow and arrow, said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back, taunting, who's afraid of a reptile. At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws open wide. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless moor, and the lizard fell down dead. Hmm, this is from an old fairy tale I remember reading as a kid. Yeah, curious. Maybe that's a little bit of foreboding. I guess we'll find out together. If we could pick up these handgun bullets, I'd be eternally grateful. Uh, right, so the library. Let's get out of here. So we can now circumvent the locked door. And unlock that. But of course... This door, like the others, is locked. So, let's check this one out. And that's what we needed the classroom key for. Come on. You know what? Oof. There's a couple of them in here, isn't there? Probably not worth fighting, I'm going to be honest. Ooh, health drink. Don't mind if I do... 
don't mind if I do. I mean, we're pretty stacked when it comes to health. And they're just leaving these things everywhere, aren't they? Oh. Get rid of you. Really don't want any of your heebie-jeebies. Now that's unlocked. Let's head down into the boiler room. Which should now be open. We unlock that door just for shits and gigs. So, this place is certainly a little bit different from last time we came here. There's a lot more garbage around. And we can actually get into the storage room as well, which is quite nice. Which contains not one, but two packets of shotgun shells. I believe shotgun shells in this game are a little bit stingy. Because, yeah, you, you only get six in a pack, which is one reload. Whereas, whoa. Have we really got nearly 200 handgun rounds? Alright. Not that I'm complaining. Now, let's go back into the boiler room. Now, this actually uh, contains one of the first puzzles that I actually got stuck on. So, if I drop a save state here, now, we have to kind of endlessly turn these valves until the door opens, which is a very slow, agonizing process. Uh, it can actually take a long time to actually uh, find the right way out because if you move one, you're moving both of them. But there's probably multiple ways of doing this. Uh, but the easiest way is by going to this one uh, and turning it to uh, the left twice, I believe. Which still involves this painfully slow uh yeah painfully slow animation which even now even though i know how to do it perfectly at least as perfectly as i i think is possible uh it's still agonizing and then we want to turn this one once to the right and if the stars have aligned and the metal gods are smiling on us this day, that will open our path. Yeah, um, the thing is with this one is if you screw it up, it's not like Resident Evil when you can leave the room and reset the puzzle. If you screw it up, you can end up really screwed with that one. Anywho, let's go downstairs into the dark below. And here we find our first boss. Well, there's the burning man. Not quite sure what that's all about. But anyway, let's light this lizard up. So we've got to taunt this lizard. And what's the best way to taunt a lizard? Well, believe it or not, the best way to taunt a lizard, apparently, is by shooting the crap out of it with your handgun until he gets angry, opens up his mouth, and then we're gonna blast him in the mouth with the shotgun. And that is all she wrote for the lizard. Yeah, that boss is kind of a joke, actually. that we get a glimpse of some random young woman hmm? what was that who in the hell was that <laughs> all right dogs calm down where am i 
Is this a boiler room? What's going on here? Well, obviously something very strange indeed is happening, Harry. I'm just, just throwing that out there. So what do we have here? There is a K Gordon key. Take it? Sure. Right. Let's get out of here. So we find ourselves back in the elementary school. But the elementary school as we sort of remember it. Not quite as twisted and deformed I hear a church bell. Maybe who is ringing the bell? Ah, I guess we're going to Balkan Church. That's our next point of call. All right. But before we do that, where are we? Where are we on the map? Ah, we actually need to go back through here. Hey, we've unlocked. So the shotgun seems to be kind of insanely overpowered. And what's, yeah, kind of interesting. It's a double barreled sawn off that holds six rounds. I've only just noticed that. That's interesting. Right. So we're actually leaving this place with a hell of a lot of equipment. Let's go back through. It's unlocked. exit once more into the streets of Silent Hill. Man, it's good to be back. And with that, guys, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we've got some exploring to do out on this town because there's some new areas that we can explore. And we're going to make our way to the church and see just who was ringing that bell. Still, as an unpleasant place as Silent Hill is, at least we're back to the uh, real realm, I guess. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.